August 6, 1945. The sky over Hiroshima was clear. It was just another warm summer morning. But at exactly 8.15 am, the world changed forever. A blinding flash, a deafening explosion, and a fireball hotter than the surface of the sun engulfed the city. In mere seconds, tens of thousands of lives were lost, and the nearly mushroom cloud rose into the sky, marking the dawn of the nuclear age. This was the first time in history that humanity had unleashed the devastating power of the atomic bomb, a moment that would forever shape the course of war, politics, and scientific advancement. Welcome to Project Notos, the channel where we break down history, science, and technologies in ways that are easy to understand. If you're interested in more deep dives like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out any future content. Today we are diving deep into one of the most powerful and controversial inventions of all time, the atomic bomb. We will explore its origins, the groundbreaking science behind it, how it has been used throughout history, and some mind-blowing facts that you might not know about. So let's get started. The journey to the atomic bomb began long before that fateful day in 1945. It all started with the discovery of nuclear fission in 1938 by German scientists Otto Hahn and Fritz Strassmann. Their research showed that splitting uranium atoms released an enormous amount of energy. Soon, physicists like Lizzie Maynard and Niels Bohr realized the potential of this discovery and war quickly spread. As World War II intensified, fears grew that Nazi Germany might develop a nuclear weapon first. This led to the Manhattan Project, a top-secret U.S. research program launched in 1942. Under the leadership of physicists J. Robert Oppenheimer and General Leslie Groves, scientists worked tirelessly in Los Alamos, New Mexico, to turn theory into reality. Their efforts culminated into the first successful test of an atomic bomb on July 16, 1945, in the New Mexico desert. The explosion, known as the Trinity Test, created a shockwave felt over 100 miles away proving that nuclear weapons were no longer science fiction, but a terrifying new reality. The Manhattan Project was one of the most ambitious scientific efforts ever undertaken. It involved over 130,000 people, and facilities spread across multiple locations, including Hawk Ridge, Tennessee, and Hanford, Washington. Scientists worked in secrecy using code names and compartmentalized research, so only a few knew the full scope of what they were creating. By the time the bombs were ready, the world was on the brink of a new era, one that would be shaped by nuclear power and the threat of total annihilation. At its core, an atomic bomb operates on a principle called nuclear fission. When a heavy atomic nucleus like uranium-235 or plutonium-239 is struck by a neutron, it splits into smaller fragments, releasing a massive amount of energy in the process. This chain reaction happens in a fraction of a second, producing an explosion of unimaginable force. To make the bomb work, scientists had to overcome several challenges. First, they needed enough fissile material to sustain a chain reaction. Then, they had to design a mechanism to bring the material to critical mass at the right moment. Two main designs were developed, the gun-type bomb, used in Hiroshima, and the implosion-type bomb, used in Nagasaki. The gun-type bomb was simpler but required highly enriched uranium, while the implosion bomb used plutonium and was far more complex. This technological breakthrough paved the way for nuclear weapons as we know them today. The sheer destructive power of nuclear bombs comes from Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared. This equation explains that a small amount of mass can be converted into an enormous amount of energy. In the case of Little Boy, the bomb name given to the one used on Hiroshima, only about 1 kilogram of uranium underwent fission, but it released energy equivalent to 15,000 tons of TNT. The efficiency of nuclear weapons has only increased since then, with modern hydrogen bombs capable of yielding megatons of explosive force. The first and only use of atomic bombs during warfare took place during World War II. On August 6, 1945, the US dropped the bomb Little Boy on Hiroshima. Three days later, on August 9, Fat Man was dropped on Nagasaki. Combined, these bombings resulted in over 200,000 deaths, mostly civilians, and led to Japan's surrender on August 15 effectively ending the war. The decision to use atomic bombs remains one of the most debated topics in history. Supporters argue that it ended the war quickly and saved millions of lives that would have been lost in a full-scale invasion of Japan. Critics, however, see it as an unnecessary act of destruction that introduced the war to the horrors of nuclear warfare. Beyond the immediate devastation, the long-term effects were catastrophic. Survivors, known as Ibakusha, 
suffer from radiation sickness, cancer and genetic mutations that affected generations. The bombings also ignited a global arms race, leading to the Cold War and a world where nuclear deterrence became the backbone of military strategy. Here is some incredible facts about the atomic bomb. The Hiroshima bomb was less powerful than modern nukes. Little Boy had an explosive yield of about 15 kilotons. Today's nuclear weapons are thousands of times more powerful. In 1961, the Soviet Union tested the Tsar Bomba, a hydrogen bomb with a staggering 50 megaton yield, over 3,000 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. The Manhattan Project was incredibly expensive. The total cost of the project was around 2 billion, equivalent to about 30 billion today. There was a third target. Kokura was the original target for the second bomb after Hiroshima, but cloudy weather saved it. Instead, Nagasaki became the unfortunate recipient of Fat Man. A scientist regretted his creation. J. Robert Oppenheimer famously quoted the Bhagavad Gita after the first test. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. He later expressed deep regret over his role in developing nuclear weapons. The atomic bomb remains one of the most impactful inventions in human history. It ended World War II, launched the Cold War, and reshaped global politics forever. While its destructive power is terrifying, it also paved the way for advancements in nuclear energy and medicine. Understanding its history and science helps us appreciate the delicate balance between scientific progress and ethical responsibility. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe and share, and hit the notification bell for more deep dives in science, history and technology. This is Project Notos, until next time, stay curious!